Nah. What's up, Charlie? This Mickey, Chicago's Hope, Uncrowned City Entertainment. I'm chilling with my nigga Will Gates for Open World Films. Act like I always been here represent Chicago. I want to say this first of all: fuck Cash Money, fuck Birdman. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, he on some homo <laughs> shit. It, what I'm saying is, like, I fucks with Lil Wayne, I fucks with Manny Fresh, and other niggas that I fuck with, but Baby and Slim used some hoes, you know what I'm saying? It just really wasn't a good situation for me. They was like, I've been down there for a couple years, and it's like I've been the hottest motherfucker on their label. They was sucking up my energy. I was writing shit for them. You know what I'm saying? They owe me $450,000, too, if I see you. I ain't gave my life to tell you about your been ass. murdered you. Alright, so, but what I'm saying is like, so it's like I was on some Chicago shit. At first, they made it seem like it was gonna be some cash money Midwest type shit, mm -hmm. where it's like, you know, basically you can stay here and do your thing and, and put your guys on. You know what I'm saying? I had the nigga out on the street, I had him in the car with me riding, riding around my area. The nigga looked my homies in the face and said, Man, you know, I'm gonna let Mick open the door for y'all. See, it was like really a sacrifice that I was doing, you know what I'm saying? coming out with them so I can get my foot in the door of the industry and then double back and put my guys on. But more and more that I was there, it's like they was fearing the nigga because they seen that my mind was really on the same level, really way past their mind level. So it's like once they seen that, they started blocking it. They didn't want me to do this uncrowned city entertainment and nothing like that. So it was just like a conflict of interest. I ended up having to fuck one of them niggas up, put them in a hospital. Greg Green, you know who you is. <laughs> Beat the nigga down with my own two hands. And after that, I felt like it was just time for me to ride, man. It really wasn't no more benefit for me staying around because I ain't no groupie. You know what I'm saying? I ain't on none of that. I just want to do music, get my shit out, and put my family on so my niggas can eat. After I seen how they did Boy Gotti album, I mean, the motherfuckers ain't really put no money behind it. To me, they shitted on them guys. And I Purpose. fucked with them. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that was purposeful. I feel like they just really wanted a pass to come to Chicago. That's why they was fucking with us and they wanted to fuck with R. Kelly and all that. But they got no more pass. You know, niggas is at your ass, point blank. Them niggas really just wanted to soak up Chicago's gangster. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's why I know it's our time because everything these niggas is rapping about, whether it's some Al Capone shit, gangster mafia shit, that's Chicago, man. We yeah, home of that. Hell they, you know, they talking that pimp niggas running around. Everybody holding the cup down one. Blue fast blessing everybody. <laughs> it's like, I ain't this shit. You know, I'm the first motherfucker from Chicago that I ever seen sit on the couch on 106 and Park. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> shit, you know what I mean? I know you moved on or whatever, man. You got yeah. your own label and shit. Tell us about that, yeah, man. Yeah, I started on Crown City Entertainment, man. I started that shit more than it's like our, our fifth year anniversary. You know what I'm saying? Coming up since we've been incorporated. It's like, I started that. Uh, it's me. CEOs is me. My brother Rico right here. Uh, Dave G. Dave Knuckles, my attorney. And also Jack Foreman. So it's like, we the brain trust of this uncrowned shitty shit trying to get it to move. We got some artists. We got famous. You know what I'm saying? One of the niggas I just snatched up out the penitentiary. Six you know what I'm saying? Street, nigga did man. six years. I grew up with him and shit. Man. He came home. You know what I'm saying? He was on some home invasion shit. I just cuffed him. <laughs> and niggas was like, man, you know what I'm saying? It's like, that's what I feel this rap shit about. Snatching niggas that could be running up in your crib. Instead, they on the mic and in the studio. You know what I'm saying? So I snatched him. Then I got my guys D-Ski Alert. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Ragtown, 116, 12 South Morgan. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what Ragtown is if you're from the hundreds. You know what I'm saying? If you don't, you better act like you fuck up. Oh. Basically, it's like, you know, he was the region and shit, you know what I'm saying? From He was the region over, over the folks from my area, and we grew up since yay high. So it's like, man, when I seen he was on some rap shit, I hurried up and cuffed him, said, leave that shit alone. You know what I'm saying? They're selling that crack, you know what I'm saying? Up all night and all that shit. So just come on, go with me. Then we got G and the Rock, you know what I'm saying? Another hot ass group, you know what I'm saying? And, and they just putting their shit down. Kenny Rock, the Rock, he from the Hunters, he from off 125th Estate, and uh, G from Inglewood, niggas that I play ball with and shit, so they got into the rap shit. Then we got my sister, Miss Chris, and Point Blank, she the hottest female, period. I mean, she the hottest artist probably artist. in Chicago, you know what I'm saying, even over myself, you know what I'm saying, I get with that, because can't nobody do what she do. She pop, 
she on b she rap she just she's sick you know what i'm saying that yeah. she fucking over lyrically she fucking over 99 of these niggas out here <laughs> you know what i'm on. saying and you know what i'm saying besides that we done cuff some r&b artists you know what i'm saying we got trey you know what i'm saying the hottest motherfucker r&b you know what i'm saying a singer that's from the city that i know period you know what I'm saying? So we just doing a lot of things. We got other motherfuckers we fuck with. Merle G. I fuck with Ferris, Von Woods, Bulu, uh, Vita, uh, Lil John. I fuck with all of them. I fuck with T for Trey and Naki. I fuck with Mike Love, Heavy. You know what I'm saying? And the Diz here. But I fuck with everybody, man. I fuck with Twister. I started with Kanye. I was part of Con Man Productions before I got signed with Cash Money. Kanye, the first one that went down to meet with Cash Money, you know what I'm saying? We was together. I was his first artist, and I want to thank the nigga because it's like, he the first motherfucker that told me, look, man, man but I really want to take this rap shit serious, you know, at all. Like, man, shit, man, you the hottest motherfucker in the city. Period. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so I started fucking with him, man. He gonna be on the album. You know what I'm saying? I've been fucking with No ID before this Cash Money shit. Now I came back full circle that we in a business relationship. And it's just really time for Chicago to do its thing, you know what I'm saying? I got love for what Twisted doing, you know what I'm saying? Everything is just opening up. You know, niggas so hype on Chicago right now, it's like, shit, we been hot, you know what I'm saying? But if they like it, I love it, you know what I'm saying? Let's right. get the money now, you know what I'm saying? I'm down with it, so. Buck J, I fuck with a couple motherfuckers, other niggas, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, but really, you know what I'm saying, niggas got to do them. And right. it's like, I want everybody to succeed because it's like, you can get a nigga signed here or you can get a nigga signed here, you know what I'm saying, for this amount of money, this amount of money. But unless you got some independence that's doing some shit in your, in your city, your city really ain't arrived yet. You know what I'm saying? You can't say Atlanta was on the map if it wasn't the face and so, so deaf that that's independence. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We can have a million fucking artists, but if we don't have no independent labels here, then we ain't doing shit. So, well, you know what I'm City. saying? So, Uncrown City is that independent label. You know what I'm saying? I'm, so, not, I'm not signing no artist DME. You know what I'm saying? I did that. I done went that route. I've been through that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we we talking some major, you know what I'm saying? Some multi-million dollar deals that's on the table right now. You know what I'm saying? There's five or six different record labels. All of them thirsty. You know what I'm saying? I feel, I mean, just look at this shit. I feel hands down, I've been the best in the city for a long time. You know what I'm saying? I ain't taking away nothing from no man. You know what I'm saying? I'm the best at what I do. Another nigga twisted the best at what he do. Kanye the best at what he do. Bump the best at what he do. Everybody in their own little right is the best. You know what I'm saying? I don't get caught up into who the king, who the man, whatever. I mean, let's see just let's see who sell them, them fucking units. You know what I'm saying? Who the streets gonna love? That's what it all boiled down to. You know what I'm saying? So. It's a lot of niggas doing real music here, man. It's a lot of camps that's doing their thing that I got love for and I respect. So ain't no hate on my part, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm from Ragtown. You know, in Ragtown, they got some shit called the Ragtown All-Stars. My nigga Merv and Leeway Entertainment, they doing their thing. I fucks with them, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, we, you know, the Hunter's got a million record labels in itself, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I just want one of us to blow, you know what I'm saying? And that's it's like... Saying. I got love for everybody. Man, I feel like it's our turn. Because everything these niggas been rapping about, we really been living. See, it's industry in New York and L.A. Like, niggas could drive down the street. You could see superstars. You could go downtown. You could see movie stars, rappers, musicians. In Chicago, we on the grind every day. Ain't no, ain't, ain't nothing to do but grind, period. You ain't seeing nobody famous. You ain't seeing none of that. Ain't no industry. You can't go downtown and go to no record label. It's just strictly grind. So they just bred a different kind of nigga than it is anywhere else. You know what I'm saying? And not to say we better than nobody else, but I mean, I feel Chicago is the realest niggas on the planet. So, so with Uncrown City and shit, y'all basically just signed them off. I was from the crib. I ain't shouting nobody from outside that's not from Chicago or the Midwest. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with the Midwest because I feel like that's a whole movement. But... And my deals were far, really, everybody I got from the crib, from the shadow. So, I mean, I'll fuck with somebody from outside, you know what I'm saying? And, I, and it, you know what I'm saying? I still fuck with Manny Fresh on production, you know what I'm saying? Because that's my man. But outside of that, you really ain't going to see nothing or hear nothing but Chicago producers on my shit. I mean, why go outside Chicago for anything if everything is here? 